Hey guys, it's Gaz and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is actually sponsored by Tideford Organics and they sent me some of their amazing new vegan sun-dried tomato pesto. I generally make all my own pestos at home, um, but this is so good when you're in a rush, whether you wanna just throw it into some pasta, but I'm actually gonna do something a little bit special and make a really nice hearty, healthy dish some grilled aubergines and I'm gonna stuff them with some amazing flavors and, a, and some of their pesto. So let's get on with it. First up, let's grill off the aubergines. Cut two aubergines in half. So as you can see, I've just preheated this griddle pan inside my wood-fired oven. Obviously, if you don't have one of these at home, just set your griddle pan on a medium heat, add a touch of oil, and let's grill off the aubergines. That's what you want, those nice griddle lines. Place the grilled aubergines in a baking tray and finish off grilling the rest of them. Spoon over some of the Tideford Organic Pesto over the aubergines. Now it's time to get these in the oven for about 10 minutes. Set your ovens at home to 180 degrees Celsius and the amazing flavours from the pesto will go right inside the beautiful aubergines. Now it's time to make the stuffing. Add around 300 grams of cooked quinoa to a bowl. Next add one red pepper cubed half a courgette cubed and half a red onion finely sliced. Add two tablespoons of capers, half a teaspoon of paprika, add the zest of one lemon. Now that's the bulk of the ingredients done. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a mix and then we'll get in our lovely pesto. So I'm going to add around five tablespoons of this beautiful sun-dried tomato pesto from Tideford Organics, then give that a mix in. Add a few sprigs of Greek basil and continue to mix the amazing mixture. For additional richness, I'm going to add three tablespoons of passata. Finally, a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. This is looking and smelling absolutely delicious. Now let's get those aubergines out the oven and fill them with this amazing mixture. The aubergines have been in the oven for about 10 minutes. They're looking and smelling absolutely beautiful. Most people when they're doing stuffed aubergines, they scoop the mixture out and then add it to their filling mixture. But there's no need to do that. I just use my fork to just score it and press in. And look at all that flavor. Smells absolutely incredible. So sort of mash the aubergine. I don't want to risk losing any of this flavor. Spoon in the amazing mixture into the aubergines. Be generous. This mixture will actually stuff another aubergine, but just for filming purposes, I'm showing you to do two aubergines, but just make sure they're all stuffed equally. Bake the stuffed aubergine in your oven set at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. So the aubergines are done. I'm gonna get them out now and serve them up. Oh wow, they smell absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Now let's plate these up. I'm going to drizzle over some more of this amazing pesto because it is just so tasty. I've also made a quick tahini dressing just by mixing some tahini, some water and some seasoning. Just get that over for a bit of coolness. Also for a little bit of a crunch, some beautiful pine nuts. Sprinkle over a bit of lemon zest for some freshness. I'm also going to drizzle over some of the juice. Finally, just get some nice rocket or some watercress and just 
pop that around. So this is the best bit. I'm gonna give this a try. And it looks so rustic and beautiful. Let's dig in. Oh wow, the aubergine is perfectly cooked. Mm. Mm. That is absolutely amazing. It's so hearty, really warm, and it tastes absolutely incredible. Thank you so much to Thai Food Organics for sending me some of their amazing pesto and sponsoring the video. It adds such a beautiful, bold flavour to the quite bland, boring aubergine, but it just brings it to life and it's so beautiful with everything else as well. And I really recommend spooning some of that pesto onto the aubergine just after grilling and that forms a nice sort of crust, a nice flavour that runs deep inside the aubergine. It's absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring the video. They're gluten free, they're organic, they're vegan 100%. So it's really nice for them to sponsor me. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you check out their product. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be part of the notification gang, hit the bell so you're the first one to know about my new videos and make sure you pre-ordered my book. Thank you so much for watching.